with every breath and all that I have I want to love you as long as I live for you are my God I surrender One Corinthians nine verse twenty six to twenty seven says, "So I run with purpose in every step. I'm not just just shadow boxing. I discipline my body like an athlete, training it to do what it should. You cannot be an athlete if you do not breathe right and regularly. How do you breathe? Breathe in. Read the Bible and inhale God's word. Breathe out." Speak to God through prayer in your spirit. I surrender all. All my life and all my it's not about me, it's about God. It's not about me, it's about God. How does a Christ-centered athlete look like? Pray for your competitor. It is possible by the power of the Holy Spirit. Be Jesus' hands and feet in the race and be visible. Make sure that you reach the godly finish line. 1 Corinthians 9 verse 25 says, but we do it for an eternal price. Be prepared to offer and lead other athletes to Jesus so that everyone can be an athlete for Christ. As an athlete, you need to be healthy. How do you keep yourself healthy? You need to prevent potholes. You need to be on the lookout for potholes. In spiritual life, you need to be on the lookout for spiritual stumbling blocks that keeps your focus from God. You need to eat right and regularly at the right time to prevent burnout. Never wait until you're hungry or thirsty. Read God's Word and eat what He gives you in His Bible. In a race, you need to be attentive you need to be connected. You need to be connected to your fellow athletes, to supporters and to your environment. Use your mind, body, soul and ears to listen to God's voice. Listen when God talks to you in the most barren of places. You need to, talk, to continuously talk to God and listen when other athletes call for spiritual help. For all of this, you still need to breathe. Jesus must be your role model. He did not throw in towel when he was faced with the cross. Keep your eyes focused on him and think what, what he went through when he carried the cross and don't lose heart. Hebrews 12 verse 2 says, 
We do this by keeping our eyes on Jesus, the champion who initiates and perfects our faith. It's not about me, it's about God. It's not about me, it's about God. How do I practice to stay spiritually fit? Always try to have a negative split, meaning your second half must be stronger and faster than your first half. So let Jesus be your pace setter in order for you to finish strong. You need to exercise power in the spirit. Try and always move in the power of God. Learn to live and run with Philippians 4 verse 13. For I can do everything through Christ that gives me strength. You need to exercise stamina in the spirit. Focus on God, irrespective of how long your race is. The spirit must have endurance. You must practice to participate in the spirit. And remember, Jesus needed stamina for him to carry his cross. So you give me more to give. Your race must be a testimony. You might come across an athlete that desperately needs God. Physically you are tired, but God will give you power and strength to bring in another athlete for Him. Yes, another athlete, running for an eternal prize on their way to the godly finish line. Hebrews 12 verse 1 and 2 says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a huge crowd of witnesses to the life of faith, let us strip off every weight that slows us down especially the sin that so easily strips us up. And let us run with endurance the right the race God has set before us. We do this by keeping our eyes on Jesus, the champion who initiates and perfects our faith. As an athlete, you need to do exercises. You need to do speed exercises. High, high heart tempo against high speed. You need to do stamina exercises. You need to do long distance events that will make your muscles used to compete in hard and long distances. You need to do power exercises. You need to do muscle exercises with weights to strengthen your muscles. And through all of this, we still need to breathe. God will never let go of you. In the end, we are all athletes running the race of life. And we do it for an eternal prize. Thank you, Jesus, for giving us the ability to run and follow in your footsteps. It's not about us. It's about God. Jesus, let us be your hands and feet as far as the corners of the earth until your kingdom come. <laughs>